How's it going everyone? Down here at the river today. I've got the uh, the rod up there with me. Plan is to track down on that way down the river, see what we can catch. Hopefully a nice big bass or something like that. And um, yeah, if we get a decent sized one, um, we'll cook it up and have a feed. Alright, I'm awake now. Let's go. Alrighty, so we're just heading down the river now. And I don't know if you can hear it over the rushing water, but the cicadas are going off their nut today. So hopefully that means I've got the right lure. I'm going to be trying mostly with uh, this one here, this little cicada lure. The number one fish that I try to catch here is bass. They're the best eating fish. I don't really like to take too many of them. I normally let them go, but today if I get one, I'll take one. Other fish in here, there's little freshwater herring. Also quite a few massive eels, which we won't be going for today, but I will come back another day and try to catch a nice big eel. There's also carp down here. I saw a massive carp. It was so big. Uh, if I'm having no luck with the bass, might try and get a carp. So anyway, we're coming up on the real good spot here. Here we are, look at that. So there's a big sort of waterfall just gushing through here. Where it acts like a bit of a natural barrier. You know, pretty much stopping a lot of the fish from getting through, which means that there should be a lot of fish coming from all that big lake down there and whatnot. So hopefully we'll have some luck here. Alright, so we're serious now. The speed dealer sunny got on. It's polarized so I can hopefully see some fish. What I'm going to do is just go basically fish all this area around here. And uh, I'm going to use the cicada lure, so I'm pretty much just going for bass. it over, drag it back over where I think I saw them. Alright, not too much luck here. Let's head down and have more of a cast over there. Okay, so the bass in this area might be a little bit spooked um, after seeing me walk past. I'm going to give them a chance to relax and calm down and uh, I'm going to move it over there. I don't know what's on camera, but we did just hook a big bass, yes, yes, look at this bloke nice, Whoa. just got a big nice bass, look at him, right here, uh, just over casting off there. Oh, so I've got the bass just here that I caught, just keeping him in the water, so he's okay. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep this guy or not, I may or may not let him go, so I'm going to do till then is put him in this nice little uh this nice little thing of water here and he can swim around or whatever in there this is just like a little formation in the rock so i'm going to leave him in there for now and if um if i decide to let him go I'll, I'll fish him out and chuck him back in and if i decide to keep him i'll come back and get him as well but anyway it's pretty early on in the day so i'm just going to keep heading up and keep fishing with that lure Yep. Need a stick. Alright, got a little back. Nearly hit myself in the face with it, but it's back. So, the spot I'm heading over to right here just now, just over there, near that big rock in between there. The other day I was there and I actually saw a bunch of really big carp. The rod cam has decided to run out of battery, so I'll stick another one in there. 70%, that's all right. So the carp are just chilling over there in that hole. I've got this little grub looking squidgy thing here, and I think that might do the trick. Now it's down on the ground, they're bottom feeders. All right, there we go. That is set up. Something grabbed it, 
Okay, everyone, so we're going to try switching up the lures again. So I missed the hookup, but just caught another another bass. Um, this time I was just using the uh, the squidgy lure right there, so you can catch them on other stuff besides the cicada lure. From tail to snout, right on around 28 and a half, 29 centimeters. I'm going to let this guy go. Alrighty, so I'm back um, at this spot where I left uh, the fish over there. He's still there. Um, I'm going to take him home <clears throat> and cook him up. I don't feel too bad about taking this guy for food. There are plenty of big bass here. And um, I don't take a lot of fish from here. I'm going to uh, just knock him on the head and gut him and uh, put him in the cool bag. And hopefully I'll do a bit of a uh, cooking segment. Right, so here he is here. I just knocked him on the head to put him to sleep. Probably around... 35 centimeters. Okay, so here he is, he's all gutted. I haven't scaled him yet, I'll, I'll do that later when I cook him up. All set to go. So um, I'm gonna head back now, back up the river. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna cook that fish up. I'll um, start the video again there. Alrighty everyone, we're here ready to cook up the bass. I did forget to bring a table, but that's alright, I've got this tub thing. So, we've got the bass, of course. We've got some lemon. That's not lemon, that's butter. We've got some lemon, and we've got some salt and pepper. I haven't actually done this before, so we'll see how we do. We start heating up the pan. Um, I'm gonna cook this guy in the pan whole. Probably the best way to do it, I reckon. Uh, yesterday, I didn't actually scale this guy. So, I'll just do that now. You know what, I might scale him over there instead. Alrighty, so, I haven't actually cooked up a bass before. I'll be honest, I haven't even cooked a fish before. So this is gonna be interesting. I'm gonna put some oil in the pan. Probably heat. So, we're gonna start cutting up the lemon here. I'm actually gonna stick some lemons in him. Just in here like that. There we go. Could probably stick some salt and pepper in there too. I don't know if chefs do this or not. I, I, I assume, I assume they do. Maybe I'll stick some butter in there. Do a few chunks. Uh, and we got some nice chunks of butter in there as well. This pan, I think is hot enough. It's probably too hot. Stick a few chunks of butter in the pan. Move that around. All right, let's, uh, Stick this bass in. Oh, he's a bit big for the pan, actually. That was a bit of a mistake. I didn't, I didn't think about that. We're gonna chuck some salt on. I'm gonna squeeze a bunch of lemon on him. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm not sure. I really am not sure. More lemon juice, I assume. Can only be good. Oh, he's actually looking quite good. Look at that meat. I'll be honest, he doesn't look too, I don't know what the word would be, tidy, but he's going to taste pretty good. Don't really have a plan for how I'm going to get him out, I hope he doesn't break in half. I have a spoon, I can use the spoon. Don't break apart, wow, beautiful. Let's have a taste. That'd be neat. Oh, that's good. That is good. Also, apologies for the ear-piercing sound of the cicadas in the background. That is pretty much everywhere in the bush today, so couldn't really find a spot to avoid that. Alrighty. That is so good. Thanks for watching, everyone. Um, I'll definitely be going back to that spot. I mean, I go there all the time. Uh, maybe next time I'll catch some other things. I wouldn't mind cooking up some herring just to see what they taste like. Definitely got to catch a big eel. Um, definitely going to catch more bass. I probably won't take too many more bass from there though. I'll see you on the next video.